We have flash flood warnings in effect for Jasper, Newton, and Benton counties, and that will be allowed to expire around 1 o'clock this afternoon Eastern Time and noon Central Time. And that's because those locations saw the most rain, amount of rain, after that system has pulled through the area. But more than two inches of rain fell up to our northwestern counties and just shy of three inches around Rensselaer, coming in at 2.93, anywhere between two to three inches around Jasper County. Same thing for Newton County, closer to two inches around Fowler, and here in Tippecanoe County, about an inch of rain has fallen with lighter totals to the southern half of the viewing area. The good news is the widespread rain that we saw last night has pushed out of the state. However, we are left with overcast skies and also areas with patchy drizzle, so that will stay in the forecast for the rest of the afternoon and into the evening, but then we should dry out later tonight, eventually turning mostly cloudy during the overnight period, but it's also going to be another cool day with temperatures staying well below the average. We'll only have highs in the lower 70s, plus that chance for a few light sprinkles during the evening hours. And we're also tracking a nice warm up for your weekend with temperatures returning into the 80s, but still seeing gray skies in Lafayette. 66 degrees at this hour with winds out of the west northwest at 8 miles per hour. And temperatures are really struggling to rise today. 67 in Logansport, 68 around Delphi. Currently Currently 65 degrees in Covington with temperatures expecting to rise into the lower 70s later on this afternoon. 71 around 4 o'clock, 70 around 6 and still seeing that chance for a stray shower. Otherwise, mainly cloudy skies with temperatures only rising into the lower 70s and then upper 60s to our far northeastern counties for the afternoon. We should fall to 58 degrees tonight. Skies should be mostly cloudy and we will have mainly dry conditions. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s and lower 60s down to our south, 64 Thorntown and 61 degrees around Crawfordsville. Plus, we also have another chance for a few light showers for tomorrow morning's commute. Here's a look at our precision future cast. You can see those rain chances staying to the southern half of the viewing area for tomorrow morning, but that system will quickly move out and we will have decreasing clouds throughout the day on Friday and temperatures should be warming up as well into the 80s just around 80 degrees for a high and we do have rain chances now for Friday but mostly the northern half should remain dry throughout the day. Saturday a chance for an isolated shower or thunderstorm under partly cloudy skies and then 86 for Sunday with another system moving in bringing us a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms that will stick around in the forecast for the start of